Hey guys, Hal Valla here, and this is going to be a quick tip on the Unreal Engine. I'm not going to do a longer video today like I did last time because right now it's 5.16 a.m. and I haven't gone to sleep yet. So anyway, I just found something, right? So I'm in my landscape level at the moment. If I play the game, you can see that I can walk around this little mountainy bit. Do, 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 do. And I can even go out and, you know, landscape mode, like a sculpt. Hang on. I've got like sculpt bits and pieces and shit, and that's all well and good. I can even do this to do like, I don't know, some ravines or something. But. And you notice, I can't actually carve into the wall here without removing the entire thing, without lowering the entire cliff edge. Let's say I don't want to do that, right? I want to be able to just make a hole about this big into the side of this mountain. See, I can't do that at the moment because the entire thing deforms and it becomes a little bit of a mess, right? I'm going to get you up again, because I don't like that. Yeah, it quickly becomes messy, right? I'm just going to flatten all of this out. So, the other way to sort of do this, right? And this is where a neat plugin comes in, which is called the Voxel plugin. You can get it on the Unreal Marketplace for... Well, there's a free version and there's a pro version. The pro version is a bit pricey. It comes in at about $500, give or take. But the free version is free. Now, there's a little bit of a problem with the free version. If you're in the Unreal Engine 5.1, like I am, there's... I want to call it a rendering bug. I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what I'm going to call it in this video, right? Let's just wait for it to load in. Assuming this works. <laughs> yeah, it's good. So over here, right? I have a little rampy thing that I just built. Right, I can walk up it. Do, 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 do. There's a little bit of texture stretching. It's not perfect. But you can see it's working on it, right? And if we jump down here, whee, you can see there's a little overhang, right? And I can walk underneath the cliff. There's a sort of, you know, there's a sort of what could be a cave entrance if I had bothered to sculpt it out a little bit more. This kind of overhang or underpass or whatever you want to call it wouldn't be possible in Unreal Engine's regular landscape tools, right? As we saw with the previous example. Now, I'm going to show you very quickly how to set up a voxel world with a landscape material. Because it's a little bit tricky, at least if you've got the free version of the plugin. Now, as you can see, I'm going to jump out of play mode. As you can see, there's a little bit of texture, stre texture stretching here. This is a landscape material, so and these are voxels. So, yeah. That might be something. But at the end of the day, right, I can just do like some kit bashing from the Quixel Bridge or whatever and fill this in. It doesn't have to stay like this. It's just sort of like a development environment look, right? So, I'm going to create a new level. We're going to call it Voxel Shit. We're going to call it Voxel Shit, right? Going to save it. We're going to get into it. There's nothing here, so let's go ahead and add in our lights, doom, doom, and I'm going to go post process volume, boom, atmosphere, sky atmosphere, fog, right, all of these can be set back to zero, zero, zero. Boom, 
home and the post process we're gonna turn the infinite range thing infinite extend and I was doing something with this what was I doing yeah I was doing this wasn't I do well, let's do 10 whatever let's do 10.5 not the point of the video, right? Uh, the point of this is let's get in a voxel. By the way, uh, I did say it, but you could get the voxel plugin in the Unreal Marketplace. You just sort of do what you would do with, you know, installing and downloading and shit, every other plugin. So I'm going to bring in the voxel world, right? We brought it in, reset the location, all of it. The standard texture. Ain't really that good. I mean, it's a thing. You could do it. Now, this is where we need to be cautious, right? I'm going to save this world because I'm probably going to fuck this up. <laughs> Something's going to break, right? I believe, I haven't tested this, but I do think that in Unreal Engine 5.03, switching this guy to something like multi-index for landscape materials would just work out of the box. In 5.1, this doesn't work, right? What you need to do is reset this material, first of all. Reset it. And we want to go to the render world option. Turn that off, right? And then we want to go back to material. And now we can change this freely because it's not rendering it. That's why I said I think it might be a rendering issue, right? Multi-index. If the world render was on, the engine would have crashed by now, right? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to save you again. I'm going to go into my thing. I want to get this guy. Boom. And this has the correct thing. I set this up a little bit previously. This is the exact same voxel material that is in the other world, right? And now I have this applied. It's on multi index. Everything's ready and set up. So I can now render the world again. And now it renders. If I had not turned off that render world and just gone ahead and fucked with this, in, with this thing, it would have crashed the engine. All right. So now I could go in a sculpt, not animation, sculpt voxels, right? I can do surface, you know. Uh, I'm going to bring up the brush size so we can see. And it, as you can see, it automatically does the whole landscapey thing. And I can do. And even, I can even do, if I really wanted to, I can carve out bits of this mountain, right? I can carve out a piece of this, right? So now if we go back into selection mode, world settings, get you the BP, play the thing. Yes, I want to save it. I'm just going to save it there. Now I've got a little bit of an overhang or an underpass, whatever you want to call it, right? So I can do this. And the landscape material works very well. There is a little bit of texture stretching here and there, but yeah. Whatever, right? It's not perfect. And honestly, I'm using the free version of the Voxel plugin. This might already be fixed in the, uh, the latest paid version. But for now, this is good enough. So I could get in there and I could walk underneath a roof. Basically a landscape roof, right? So again, very briefly, right? To do this, select the thing. Details. This needs to be off while you're changing from the RGB to either single-indexed or multi-indexed. This render world option here. 
If this ain't turned off, it's going to crash the engine. Simple as that. Simple as that. Anyway, so that was the little quick tip. Unreal Engine, you know. I need to say that I didn't come up with this. Some other bloke did on the Voxel plugin Discord server, but I felt I needed to share this because this is a game changer, right? I would have used the whole Voxel plugin thing in Unreal Engine 5.0, but 5.1 introduces foil Foliage Nanite, which com combined with this, mwah, that's what I'm going to say. Right, so like, I don't like the uh, top of this, so I'm going to smooth it out a little bit. I'll just smooth it out just a little bit, just a little bit. Right. Let's, and let's go ahead and like make a little rampy thing. So that we can walk up here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This is what I'm talking about, voxels. I'm not really used to the whole voxel thing yet. I'm painting in voxels, especially. So it goes up like that, right? But I want to have a thing that goes like that. It's all glued together. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I could be playing with this for days. So let's see if we can actually walk up here. Right, can I do this? Can I, like, jump my way up? Uh, I guess I can't. Well, I did get up here. Ah, yeah, whatever. So that's basically how you do that. Let me extend this out a little bit. Right, so I'm just like painting, and again, I can hang out underneath here, right? Wee. Yeah, so this is cool. This is a life changer right here. It's a little bit messy, the whole voxel thing. You can see the voxels, but eh, I don't care. It, it's, it, it's cool. It looks cool. It feels cool. It acts cool, right? So I can make like a little little pathway here. Maybe like with some steps going down. Right. Maybe like that. A parkour our way up here. Right, I could get up here. Can I get up to the top? Yeah. yeah, we got up. And then back down into our cave. And yeah. So that's about it. That's a little showcase. We got a little bit off track because I was having fun. <laughs> so yeah, that's the vo Oh, this looks cool. This looks like a Jack and Daxter level. I'm not going to lie about that. Anyway. That's how you do that, <laughs> basically. Uh, so yeah, guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, this setting, render world, needs to be off for you to go ahead and change from RGB to indexed texturing. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Shalaboom.